what is up everybody? This is Joshua Casper back at you with another Max for Live tutorial. We're going to be expanding the stereo swapper we made before. Uh, if you haven't seen that first video, link here, go watch it. It'll take you two minutes literally just to make this patch right here. And what it is is very simple, the most basic thing you can make in Max for Live, and that's just a stereo swapper. So when it's off, this audio will play regular. <laughs> And as you can hear, it's heavy on the left side, but if I turn this on, it's going to switch the stereo field so it's heavy on the right side. And that's it, but I can't do anything. I can't adjust how much uh, it's wet or it's dry, um, how much is being affected, it doesn't look nice, and all of these type of things. So this is what we're going to do today, or right now. We're going to add a dry and a wet gain control. And then we're also going to title it and we're going to make it editable inside uh, live instead of just inside of Max for Live. So let's go ahead and open this up. Um, I'm going to throw this up online. You can go download it, but I suggest you just watch that first video. Anyway, this is what it looks like. I'm going to just come in and bring it over a little bit. And then I'm going to highlight this bottom part and bring it down. And... Um, what I'm going to do is open the sidebar and I'm going to type in gain over here. And uh, I just did a short tutorial. The second tutorial was a short tutorial on the gain. So go watch that if you haven't. But what we're going to do is drag in two here. And then I'm going to just make it look pretty, line it up a little bit. And um, click on one of them. This one I'm going to set to uh, dry and this one I'm going to set to wet. And you can either do it in verse or whatever you want to do. But this one's wet for me. <laughs> That sounded funny. But uh, I'm going to come down into the inspector here, and then I'm going to come over to all, and I'm going to come down to short name. We're looking for short name. Here it is. Double click here, and I'm going to call it wet. And then you can see that it's updated that here. I'm going to come over to this one, and again, come down to short name. Where did it go? I missed it. Short name, and I'm going to double click and title it dry, and it's updated. Perfect. So, right now, my audio is wet. All, it's all wet when the device is on. So, for my wet channel, I'm just going to click on the line here and bring that over. Click on the line here and bring that over. And if we click and drag, we still want this crisscross. You see that crisscross? You can't really see it here because of the way it's looking, but if it's up straight up and down, that's what it looks like. And then what we want to do is come out regular, so right to right, left to left. If we crisscrossed again, it would cancel itself out and it would just be doing nothing. On the dry side, we want to add a couple more audio bits of audio line here. So come up until this plug in here, audio from live, until you get that red circle and drag down and go left to left and right to right and come out of it. Uh, same thing, red circle, left to left, right to right. And that's all the wiring we're gonna do inside of here. The next thing we wanna do is um, go into presentation mode. And when I click on presentation mode right now, this is the presentation. It's pretty sweet, huh? Nothing. So what we have to do is tell Max that we want these two to be involved in the presentation. Not these or anything, but just these two. So I'm going to shift click both of those. Object, add to presentation. And when I do that, um, that was view uh, object, excuse me, add to presentation while they were clicked. I'm going to redo it because I did it kind of quick. So I've got them highlighted and I clicked add to presentation. Now I can remove them, but we don't want to do that. So object, add to presentation. And now there's a red highlight around it. And the, everything with the red highlight is what's going to be shown inside of the uh, window down here. So if I click on presentation now, everything fades away that we didn't have. So I want to take these and kind of move them over here. That looks pretty sweet. Turn it back off. Um, and that looks pretty good. So now when I turn on the presentation, this is what it's going to look like inside of live. So you can change the title or whatever you want to do. But um, if I go ahead and save as now, and I'm going to save it as 102, or 
101 Stereo Swapper V2. Save. Um, it's updated inside of Live, and what we're seeing now is not what the presentation mode looks like. And we have to do one more step to make it look right over here and make these um, you know, so we can edit them and use those gains inside of Ableton, and that is object um, view, excuse me, patch inspector. Turn that on, and I just have to click open in presenter, okay? And then I close this, come in and save, and boom, look what's happened over here. This looks perfect, doesn't it? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure I've saved it one more time. And I'm going to close it. And now look. Uh-oh. Sweet. So let's go. Let's see if this has worked now. Let's see if this is um, indeed, if I have my dry all the way up and my wet all the way down, if this is on the left side. And it is, in fact, if I turn my dry all the way down and my wet all the way up, it should be on the right side now. And it is. So now I can actually adjust how much of it, um, the stereo I want swapped here. So if I come in and actually make them like both on five, negative five, uh, it will be in the middle, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Um, so you can obviously come in and play with that a little bit more. I'm not going to do it right now because the tutorial is already running over time. But I know your first question is like, why would you want these two gain controllers? Why wouldn't you just have one knob in here where you go a percentage of dry wet? And there's a lot more scripting to that type of effect. And maybe that's what I'll do on the V3 tutorial for the Stereo Swapper. But right now, we've got the JC101 Stereo Swapper V2 down, which is editable uh, gain control for the dry and wet. And we've also titled those, which I think is pretty sweet for day one with Max for Live. Anyway, we'll see you next time.